Hello and welcome to the Quell YouTube channel. Now over the past few weeks I did a lot of videos on loan working in mobile workers and working alone in buildings. And I got quite a few questions over them, which was good. But I also got quite a few questions about staff that are actually using public transport on their own. And they just wanted a few tips. And I said, well, it depends geographically where you are. Obviously, working in the rural to the urban. Also, uh, looks at the timings of what you're working and things like that. But what I decided to do was just put a short video together, just with a few ideas. Because when we're actually plotting our route on public transport, there's a lot of things to think about. Like, have you actually planned your timings correctly? I'm not being funny, have you got a backup plan? So, if you're trying to catch the train and the train, shall we say, cancelled or delayed to a point where you have to use alternative, have you thought about that? Have you thought, is there a bus route or vice versa as a train route? Have you got any taxi numbers or the taxi apps that are more frequent now? Have you got a backup if, shall we say, that public transport is delayed? Have you actually thought about your route? I'm on about to the actual public transport, bus stop, train station, whatever that might be, tram, and also when you leave there, going to wherever location you're gonna to go to. Have you actually thought about it in the context of even having safe zones? Now, safe zones, for some reason, has got popular all of a sudden. I did a video on it uh, a couple of years ago, if you check on the channel, and I talked about safe zones, and all of a sudden I'm seeing all these other organizations start talking about safe zones. I don't think it's because of me, but I think it is just prompting some thought. And when I talk about safe zones is, where can you actually go to to feel safe? So have you plotted your route, and have you thought yourself, well, actually, if I have a problem here, this is a safe zone I can go to. Have you actually thought about, shall we say, what you're actually carrying? I mean, the use of your bag. Is it a good bag? Is it a, a backpack? What is it? How many pockets is on it? You know what I mean? A lot of the backpacks you get now is you've just got one, obviously, pocket that opens up into the main, and then you've got your sub-pockets inside it. Have you got a satchel bag? Uh, if you're carrying a handbag, what type of handbag are you actually carrying? Is it Has it got anything where it's got external pockets that could be easily opened? I'm, I'm not just on about pickpocketing, but I'm on about if it uh, falls over or uh, if you drop it, is anything fall out of it? Have you thought about what you're actually carrying yourself as well? I see a lot of people walk around mobile phones, and we've seen it on the numerous videos, uh, what you can see on TV now, on the police programs of uh, people going past and snatching phones, or scooters going past and snatching phones, we've all seen that. But I'm on about even some of the equipment people are carrying. Um, I've seen recently on the train, a, a lady had a very fancy phone, the new flip phone, and she actually had uh, the obviously the uh, earplugs for it, but they were just lying on the table. And I was just watching it in the sense of someone could just walk past, grabbed it, and continued on walking, as an example. So I always say to people, what are you wearing? Are you wearing headphones? Do you, do you need to put your headphones on? Do you just need one in, I should say? Where you're sitting, do you attract attention with what equipment you got? So I just ask people just to think about, well, what have they got on them? I mean, have you got a nice big fancy watch? Would you be not better off covering up? And I always say this, I don't like to scaremonger people, but I always ask people to think, well, what if that did happen? What if someone did grab for that? When you're on the public transport, are you stood anywhere or do you sit anywhere where you'll feel comfortable? Do you see another crowd of people which you can say to yourself, well, I can actually go and sit over there with that crowd of people and feel safe instead of just going and finding somewhere where it's quiet? Do you, can you sit near the driver or any of the staff, say an inspector or something? Can you sit below CCTV? And I know someone's going to say, but it's not being watched. I know that, but it's still a recording and it does actually deter people. If you actually talk to people in the transport industry like I do, some of them actually say that well, actually the camera can, on percentages, uh, stop crime because people don't want to be filmed what they're up to. And then even when you're on that public transport, are you actually carrying something to make you feel a bit more comfortable or confident? Have you got your mobile phone set up that you can actually press to ring 999? Again, check on our other videos. Have you got emergency numbers you can ring people? Do you check in with people? Do you keep up to date with people? Say what's happening as you're traveling, but obviously keeping aware of your surroundings. Or do you carry a panic button? Which again, there's loads of videos on this channel. There's an immense things to think about when you're using public transport. And all I'm asking you to do is just to sit and think to yourself, just a couple of minutes, well, have I plotted my route? Am I carrying the right stuff? Uh, am I got anything on show that can attract attention? I mean, you've been probably using the same route perhaps over the summer, but now we're coming into the darker evenings. Are you still using that same route or can you alternatively change it to make you, again, give you some form of confidence and be aware of any form of risk? But just think to yourself, in the event of emergency, who would you call or where would you go? 
thanks for watching i really hope you, you check out our other videos i'm going to continue to do the videos with ideas that i get from our attendees or our clients and if you have any more questions please jump onto our linkedin page and you might find something that we've mentioned or spoke about or even done an article out that might prompt you to think about your own personal safety bye for now